All right, welcome to the Unlucky Challenge, guys. The Unlucky Challenge is simple. We take players who think they belong in a higher rank and we put them to the test. So players who have signed up today think they belong at least two ranks higher than where they currently are. And we're going to put them in a lobby with 11 players of that rank. So for example, first up, we have a player who is bronze and thinks they should be platinum. They think they should be platinum. And they all have their own unique reasons for why they think they aren't there at the moment. We'll have a chat to them and figure out why. But yeah, we've taken 11 platinum ranked players. We put them in a custom lobby. We balanced the lobby. And now we're going to give this player a chance to, sh to show us what they got. We're going to, we're going to see what, uh, what they're made of and whether they deserve to be higher. Do they deserve to be platinum? Do they deserve to be somewhere in between? Let's find out. Hello, Fujin. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Unlucky Challenge. Uh, Hope you're doing all right. You know, a little nervous, but you know, it's just because I totally respect you and I'm actually getting to talk to you. So I'm like, I'm gonna go. Psh, I'm okay. Well, I'm just a mere, <laughs> a mere thrower. Don't, don't mind me. Uh, we, we know that you're a bronze player and you've signed up to challenge in platinum. So for the benefit of stream and anyone watching, uh, if you could just sort of give us a breakdown of what rank you're in, what kind of heroes you play, what, you know, you're going to be playing tank, but you know, what kind of tanks do you play? And why, if you can sum it up, you think you're in the wrong rank, essentially, or why you think you could be in Platinum? Uh, well, I'm definitely in Bronze per ranking, and I've been maining Reinhardt for the longest time. I, I really think I'm, I'm, I'm in Bronze because like, I don't know quite how to get the stats I need to climb because I'm probably a little too passive. Uh, but I, I have decent awareness, and I, I like almost unconsciously like track bubbles or cooldowns sort of thing but a lot of times I don't have a lot of follow-up so it's a little harder for me as tank. To your point that's that's really great to hear that you're you know you're like almost subconsciously tracking uh, cooldowns and bubbles that's that's really great. What are you kind of expecting to gain out of this if if nothing else you know whether you win lose or what are you kind of hoping to to gain at the end of this? Uh, I, I think probably an insight to not being in the elo that I'm at. Like, I expect, like, my, my main thing when I play in bronze is, like, I'm not going to get my shield shattered because I want to save it for something. Because I see a lot of Ryans either hold choke or their shield gets shattered and they don't know how to, like, use their health. So I'm I'm hoping at this at this elo like I will get more support and, like, the off tank will, like, follow up sort of thing. So Here we go. We're kicking into the game. Unlucky challenge. Lobby number one. Bronze versus Platinum. Let's go. Ooh, right off the bat they get a kill, which is nice. I've muted by the way, so whenever I'm chatting I'll mute the in-game lobby. Okay, nice. Dodges the fire strike, gets a fire strike in. Seems to be a little bit cautious, which is probably best. Better to be a little bit cautious, you know, when you're in a new lobby or in a high rank. Oh, goes for the pin! Gets the pin, but the bubble comes through! Oh, big protection there. So that that is a difference of peel there, a Gregor. I get a bubble. Gregor gets gets uh, the bubble. Fujin doesn't. The mistake there was it was a bit too aggressive of a pin. The angle of pin was a bit aggressive. It was, although it was it was it, it lined up nicely with the with the distance. It was in an awkward angle. You could see there was too many people able to follow up. So I appreciate Fujin's aggression, but it was a bit unnecessary there. Their team had full control and they didn't really need to do that. So. That was a little bit unfortunate, but I, I appreciate, you know, I appreciate the uh, aggression, you know. It's, it's better to be trying to make plays as a Reinhardt if you really want to climb. It's better to be trying to make these plays than to just hang around and... Oh, nice again. They're winning the Ryan v Ryan, you know. Fujin seems to be winning the Ryan v Ryan. I have to say that. Gregor is, is getting sort of pushed back, so... Okay, so... Again, their, their team is exerting pretty good control. Fujin tends to be a little bit behind their Zarya, which is not um, ideal. But, hey, I don't mind. Okay, so now that here comes the Genji. Oh, okay, the block! That was a block! Oh, and a big slam! Counter slams Gregor. Gregor, get fucked, man. Gregor's getting their ass handed to them. Big, oh, the grab is nice. Swing into it. Huge. Let's go. Let's go, Fuji. Let's go. Big dick energy, says chat. Big, big Ryan energy. Let's go. Main tank. Spam MTD. Main tank diff. Main tank diff. Oh, this is great. Fujin holding their own, for sure. Holding their own. I gotta say, guys, it doesn't look bronze, does it? It doesn't look bronze to me. Yep. Oh, Fujin. No, get back to your team. Get back to your team. Oh, okay. I think they were probably going to lose that regardless. But I think Fujin didn't need to go there. Oh, Gregor, get fucked! Oh, my God. Gregor. 
I tell you what, Fujin's doing the Ryan v Ryan part right. They're doing pretty decent stuff. Like the mistakes they're making, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised to see a platinum player make these mistakes. You know, the fact that they're bronze is, is definitely surprising. Another block. That one, Gregor kind of just threw into the shield though. The shield was already up. Didn't notice the Ana. That was a little bit uh, dicey. But the Ana was really aggressive as well. Could have probably been the slam. I want to see another nice big slam from Fujin here. They've got the free, free slam. Oh, oh, this is a bit over commitment. Let's hear. Uh, not a terrible shot. They can die. They can die. <laughs> they they used they used grab on us. That was like. Good. Ricky, can you come with Ashley last night? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. He's probably, probably got be, it. Result. I'll try and uh, stick with me supports, and I can uh, molten core you. Ana left side uh, together with. Block the rock. Block the rock there. That was nice. I'm trying to deal with this Genji. Honestly, if it was me, I would have just turned around and pinned. Just try and get that Genji. Oh, Nana. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Fujin. Bully some people. MD, MTD. Swinging away. Get the brig. Yes. Take out Gregor. Fire strike him. Fire strike him. Oh, nice. Discipline. Discipline. Patience. Patience. All right. We're getting a bit bloodthirsty. We're getting a bit bloodthirsty, chat. But good patience. Oh, we've all we've all hit a deflecting Genji with a fire strike. No, no need to worry there. Get slept a lot. This is a pin coming. But can they get help by their team? This could be bad for Gregor, actually. This is a really long angle. Gregor gets taken out, and Fujin's back in business. Right. Where's the trace at? She's inside over here. She just recall. Ooh, Fujin, be careful. Careful. Oh, 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 that was... That wasn't so good. That wasn't so good. Uh, one thing is hilarious is Fujin never stops jumping. I, I jump shatter sometimes well accidentally. Like, it's hard to try a bit to train. But I think Fujin literally jumps all the time. It's like it's like almost like a fidgety habit. Poking the Ryan shield. Tracer looking for a bomb. Oh gosh. That. Hmm. That's unlucky. That's unlucky. There's not much you can do there. I'm noticing though that Fujin seems to be playing a little bit more nervously after the first couple of uh, lost rounds. And this was actually something we saw. Oh wait, is that the res on Fujin? No. Flash heart gets flash banged. But we noticed this in the first unlucky challenge as well. When more, when the game starts going worse for the team, more mistakes happen. Let's see if they can stop the steamroll. Um, do you want me to go stall? Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna come back on Doom. Oh, what was that? What was that? Fujin, Fujin wasn't doing that kind of stuff earlier. Oh, someone touch! Oh, someone touch! Okay. This is fun though. Um, yeah, I'm only I'm only a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can uh, imagine. It's probably a lot higher pace than what you're used to. That's probably the biggest change. A little, like people are actually like using cooldowns more properly. I have to like be more careful of their Ana. Fujin, you heard they're saying that you know people using their cooldowns more. Fujin has to be more careful. Let's see if Fujin adapts. I got a shot on her, but. Right, we're here, we're here. All right, cool. Look, all right, he's cutting a rock. Oh, the panic charges. Fuji needs to be a little bit more careful. Like when you're low, you, that's that's the worst time to charge. Unless you know you're gonna die, in which case you try to take someone with you. But generally, if you're low, you just shield up and cower in fear. A few mechanical problems, which is why probably Reinhardt is a good pick. I say this as someone who's garbage and plays Reinhardt. I got bubble and fire. Uh, if you can heal, heal me behind. Nice, right, big. And a half. Start move in, market. Let's go. Let's go. Down. Back slow. Back slow. Oh, oh I got counter charged. Oh, Diva. I got played here. Uh, Hate the fire strike. Oh, get out of it. Mm. Oh, that was unlucky. Can't do anything about that part. Uh, purple. You wanna go nice. contest that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna... Actually, damn. Took too long. Genji's one. Oh, oh, we'll just we got, right. oh we got, okay, we've only got Nana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're not even getting another touch, are they? Wait, Muro. Muro, hide! Hide, Muro! Hide! You have to touch, Muro! No! Oh, no, he's gonna get swung at. Okay, okay, Muro will contest at least. But is anyone else gonna? Oh, this is a shame. This is way too quick. Oh. He just got shit on. Okay, Fujin. So, um, how did that feel for you? I. The. the, the my passive nature really really stood out in plat and that's that i think still that that's something i need to work on it's something that's been said to me mm -hmm. so I, I know i need to press w a little bit more and it's just 
it was fun. I I appreciated the pace. I liked the the teamwork that went with it. Like the fact that people were were calling kills out. The kill feed was easier to follow. Like I enjoyed it. Chat chat is is wants to emphasize that they stand they stand a queen when they see. Um, they really enjoyed your play. Yeah, I think they were really rooting for you, and we really had we really we really believed, particularly at the start, um, when you guys were holding on point B. Like you really, you really held your own. In fact, I would say you won the Ryan v Ryan in that in that place when you were <laughs> holding on on the on the gateway. You just kind of asserted your dominance. You blocked to shatter. In fact, you blocked most of the shatters. I think that came your way. You counter shattered. You know your positioning was very good. So that what that says to me is that when things are kind of comfortable, you're doing the right kind of things. Um, yeah. When things started to go a little bit more awkward that's when the mistakes started to, to come and the mistakes started to be even more pr- pronounced one mistake i noticed frequently was that you were like charging when you got to, to low hp basically when you got to like 50 hp 100 hp you would just kind of panic charge wherever you were i and i don't i don't know if i'm doing that one consciously honestly so like there's times that i'm like looking at what's going on but i'm not looking at my health enough and like i need to glance at that and so uh, there are times where i charge and i'm like oh i definitely shouldn't have done that because i was gonna die and yeah that that's not necessarily on purpose but that is me panicking a little more than i should to do because i feel like i should be doing something and i don't always have to be doing something and a little more patience and aggression so yeah i think i think once you get that down you're really you're really in a good shape i think you're really in a good spot to make a lot of a lot of impact you know, you definitely are going to be landing shatters over over other other Reinhardts in your <laughs> rank. I think so. Yeah, I think I think you should keep at it, and hopefully we can uh, we can get you get you out of bronze. Hopefully, I'll I'll keep you updated. Hello, Kiki. Hi. Hello, welcome welcome to the Unlucky Challenge. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm 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 pretty good. I'm pretty good. I'm psyched. I believe you're a silver DPS player looking to challenge in diamond, so or platinum. Sorry, <laughs> probably gave you a heart attack there. Um, <laughs> One step at a time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to plat first, but okay. Thank you so much for yeah volunteering. Would you like to just give us a little bit of info about um, you know yourself, what kind of heroes you play, just general your experience in Overwatch, and uh, why you think you're you know in the wrong rank, as it were. I started playing Overwatch back in October and I really got into it. I've even like started like my own Discord and a team and stuff like that. Um, I think uh, when I first started, I just kind of just went into placements really quickly and I didn't really uh, work too much on it. And then I got really frustrated as well as DPS. So I was stuck in bronze for a very long time. Um, but this season, I actually managed to climb out. Uh, I went from 1370 to I actually hit gold last week. And then, but then I dropped oh, back congrats. down to silver. I do think I qualify in plat and I play a lot of pugs and I can keep up with people in there. Um, I also play against with people who are like in masters and stuff like that, (laughs) even though they have like pretty good aim. um, I still think I can like work with the team, even if I am a a lower rank. What do you think is kind of, I I guess, the difference between why you think you're better than silver DPS and why do you think you're, what what is that missing factor that's stopping you from, from climbing the goal basically? Um, I think it has to do um, a lot with uh, the like the luck of the matchmaking system. Mm-hmm. Um, I find like I, I I make a lot of spades and I get like good picks at the beginning. Like I get one of their supports or whatever, but no one uh, no one takes any initiative on it or they uh, hold on to ults like it's Christmas and uh, <laughs> there, there's no push and then or nobody's in voice chat or you know like I I do feel like overwatch is like really team-based um environment and like you have to uh you have to like work as a team and then when that's not there like especially people not in voice or um let's say we call an alt and then like it doesn't happen or you know like like people like going off on uh, like just splitting up instead of like staying together uh which would have been like better at that stage you know it happens and I feel like especially in the lower ranks a lot of the actual playing as a team kind of thing uh Mm -hmm. is lost so Kiki talking there about um a lot of a lot of the kind of fallacies we often see in in sort of player behavior when they when they feel like they're hard stuck quite a lot of players you know refer to the ideas of like unlucky teammates people not capitalizing on what they're doing that's not to say it's not true it's not possible it is possible 
And particularly because it sounds like Kiki hasn't been playing for a long time. Uh, it sounds like Kiki has kind of just recently picked up Overwatch. If you just picked it up, then I wouldn't expect you to instantly be, you know, climbing that high. So I want to see them use natural cover as well. Again, it's always so important, guys. Whether you're Reinhardt, whether you're Farah, I just want to be using natural cover. So, okay, okay, decent response. Trying to pressure down. I think you want to ignore the Genji at this point. You just want to spam these tanks because they're really giving a nice angle. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. We get the entry pick. There's the pick that Kiki was talking about. We got a nice pick. This Genji's a little bit ambitious. Stingray is really ambitious to try and contest this far. Like, you're not going to get this. Oh, the wave. I like it. We're not going to get a Mercy Pocketed Farah. They've gone, they've gone Widowmaker now, so they, they are going to try and deal with this. This is interesting. I wonder if they would have done the same if this wasn't the challenger. Let's hear what they're saying. The Sig is main except for uh, they're, uh, the Widow. Uh, the Kree and the Rhine are under. And there's Widow's zone. main. Widow's main. Don't compete that. They're all going under. She's on Mega. Please, yep. Uh, don't don't peek that, says Kiki, immediately before peeking it. This is good positioning though, guys. I, this is like discipline, you know, not peeking the Widowmaker. Now the Widowmaker's dead, they go in. Great. Fantastic. Very well, very well disciplined from Kiki. Nice. Zen's weak. Got the Kree as well. Wins low, wins low. Nice. Nice. Good job. Is anyone main? Zen's still up. Zen's still there. Oh, we can right stagger him, stagger him, stagger him, stagger him, stagger him. I like it, I like it. Kiki going for the staggers. Let's go. Fuck it, stagger this Zenyatta. Fuck him. This is great. This is great play so far. They're probably going to be close to Flux, to be honest. Do they yep, have anything? I'm watching, high I'm watching lower under. Oh, they're on far right now. Yeah, I know they've been on far since last uh, far, round. Yeah. Oh shit. A little bit of flight mechanics are a bit. They quite often drop when they don't want to. She has an orb on her. I don't, I don't see, see where they're going. Anywhere. Oh, they're, 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 top, oh, they're top, going. Top, top, top. Okay, right. Ryan. Kill the Ryan, kill the Ryan, he's one. Nano, nano me. Oh, nice. If we can. Uh, get their far if we can. Get the ones in main. Anna's oh. low. Anna's on bottom. Beautiful! Beautiful! Discipline! Let's go! Calls for the nano, gets it, doesn't opt for the barrage because they weren't worried about the stuns and anything and maybe also the transcendence. Patience, plucks out the Anna. Big! Big place. Let's go. Sneaky barrage, sneaky barrage. Let's go. Wait, they're pressuring our Anna. Pressuring our Anna. They're up top. Okay. Got their Anna. Nice, nice. Too big. They're purple, they're all purple in there. They res the Oh, the barrage got cancelled! No, is it gonna happen again? Not the last minute loot loss again. Far, far, far. Far, far. Oh, far, far. Nice. Far, far. oh. Got her. Dead. McCree. The full hold is happening, it's coming! Take out the Reinhardt, we good! Sorry, Gregor, it's not gonna happen for you this game. Let's go! Full hold! We can't lose. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's okay. that. Alright. Mercy low, mercy off. low. I'm gonna go coast. Alright. Okay. Maintaining okay. Just watch your arm, actually. You won't have the other heal. Who instantly respects the widow again? I like it. Discipline. Look at this angle put holding discipline. Beautiful. Yeah, that I usually hit. Uh, okay, right, it's right, six, six one, six one, six one. We're dropping, dropping. Yeah. I'm trying to okay, pressure out the widow. They're resting. Again, just beautiful discipline. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Natural cover. You see, there's always, they're always next to the pillar, ready to duck should the should a Widowmaker peek. Unfortunate that the double shield is just so strong at holding that they you know they just had they just ate all those rockets for fun. Oh, win the duel! Oh, look at it. Stingria's on like one HP, one HP on Stingria. Oh, that was a big mistake. That that could have easily been punished. It gets punished from Muro because that was like a really aggressive flight, like into the Widowmaker's angle. Keep your own alive. Keep your own alive. Takes out the supercharger. Nice. Two shots and we're gone. Oh, that looked like a dodge. They're on oh. it. One. How many are we down? Are we down? Oh, I'm going to die They're here. Fuck. Right Whoops. There's the rocket mechanics again. The, the fuel mechanics. This is what we're talking about. That costs, costs them more than anything. Now they're running out of time now. Are we going to have a draw? Oh, big kills at the end. Then you took the Widowmaker out. Okay, this is their chance. Oh shit, Seraphim has res. Does he? Is Valkau, is he gonna res? If he res the Widowmaker, okay, he res the Ana. This is, they have a chance, they have a chance. Yeah, we're going main, yeah, we're going main. We're just gonna use everything main. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, what will they have? They don't really have anything. They'll bongo probably. Ooh, but... I get the no, no, no. They used bongo last fight. Thank you, are. Uh, it's sending Bob in. Okay. Widow one. Oh, the Widow's one. Can we finish her? Yes, we got the Widowmaker! Oh, don't barrage the Arisa. Where are you barraging? It, it might be enough though, guys. I think they've got it. I think they've done enough to kill the Widowmaker. Was huge. the Bob! The red, the mercy on mercy violence. The first point, the first challenger win. Let's go. There we go, Kiki. Congratulations. You've won. The unlucky yeah. challenger, you've succeeded. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so how does it feel? How do you feel? How do you feel about the game? Yeah, give me your thoughts. Um, I think it was a very good game. Like the team played really well together. Um, I just tried to concentrate on working on angles, on um, on their their, their backline, trying to figure out where their widow was, trying to like pressure her a little bit without getting too uh, much in her sightlines. And like, uh, like I knew, like when I like should engage or shouldn't engage, you know, like I didn't have to put myself in unnecessary way, essentially, um, mm. until I had to. And how did that game feel compared to your normal games? Oh, really good. It was nice to see like the team like working together. I feel like it, it was a uh, it was good uh, good game all round, and that I did fit in with what was going on. I think so. I think so. I think you definitely fit in. That was really impressive, I think. If I can give my feedback, I think that was a really impressive performance. Um, yeah? Yes, it was. I think for the reasons of, like, um, when most people come on something like this, I think the thing they worry about most is their mechanics. And they think, like, for me to shine, I need to shine mechanically, right? Like, I need to hit shots. Like, if you're Farah, I need to hit shots. If you're Widowmaker, you need to click heads or things like that. But I think what really was impressive and what's often more lacking amongst players is their game sense and their understanding of uh, their position their and their job relative to the team. What I think you did really fantastic was um, your your discipline. The number of times you kind of just kept the corner, you didn't peek the Widowmaker, you just kept flying, poke and pressure. You did what your team needed you to do, you poked the angles that your team needed you to poke. You never tried to go for like a hero play, you never tried to like and in a bad way, I mean, like, you know, not like, oh, I'm going to carry this game. You know, you, you were disciplined even with your ultimate. You didn't use it when you didn't need to. You called for the Nana boost, so you weren't shy from trying to, you know, be the playmaker. But you, you know, you were very, very disciplined, like I said. And you respected natural cover. You respected the enemy Widowmaker, and it showed. It paid off, right? Didn't, she, didn't, she didn't kill you once, so really well done. Now, having heaped a lot of praise upon you, I will now have to criticize some things. I think the thing that was lacking most was your mechanics, but not necessarily even like, I, I'm not necessarily even expecting you to aim like amazing. What I mean by that is like your flight mechanics, for example, were quite poor. Um, you struggled to stay in the air quite a lot. Potentially if like, we're speaking platinum level and you're saying kind of, if you're, if the hypothesis that you should be in plat, I think there will probably be players in platinum who are mechanically better at you better than you at aiming, for example, and hitting their shots as Farah. That doesn't mean that they are they by they are by proxy a better DPS than you. Because I, I relate as someone who sucks with the aiming. That often <laughs> it's not it's not just about the aiming and the hitting shots that will get you to be a better player. So I think you you've got some of the hardest parts down. Congratulations. And Thank good you. luck in your climbing adventure. And yeah, I mean let us know how it goes. And best of luck. Okay, Blackjack. Hey, welcome to Welcome to the lobby, and welcome uh, to the Unlucky Challenge. You are silver, I believe, and you're looking to, or at least in tank, and you're looking to challenge in diamond, is that correct? I am indeed. I have been playing for like two, three years, but only kind of really started doing it seriously in the last year and a half or so, um, and sort of grouped up with a bunch of friends and done more of a team type thing, um, so I've started focusing more on actually trying to climb. Um, and I started out doing mostly main tank, but these days I've been switching to off tank because I found that it fits my play style a lot better. I realized that my play style is a little bit um, less aggressive and more focused on like my instinct is to peel for other characters, um, which isn't so good when you're playing like Ariza because you can't really turn yourself around and just like help with the situation in the back line. Whereas uh, with an off tank, it's a little easier to be more maneuverable and kind of uh, address yourself to different problems as they go along, so. Mm. So, okay, if everything's ready, then I'll drag you to the lobby and we'll let you get to your challenge. All right, let's do it. 
Okay, so double sniper. We'll be interesting to see what kind of angles Blackjack holds. I don't like what Sneaky's doing. Having just been told that there's two snipers, Sneaky goes as far away from this team to shield them as he can. So for Vodra being Sneaky right now, he gets a bit of a, a downgrade. Okay, but okay. The ally bubble was good, the personal bubble was not. Says so you can see only half the charge that we really should be at. But standard pull, push and pull of the King's Row opening. Okay, they get the first pick, that's good. Of course, they have more upfront damage because the double snipers will take a while, but there comes the first kill. I don't like necessarily how far Blackjack is going here. This is really exposed, but looks like they'll get away with it. And now I think the key is to save the bubble for when the Reinhardt actually gets naded or pressured. Oh, this is Zarya chasing back. Oh, left the Zarya. Oh, left the Reinhardt to die. Um, again, so one of the things we talk about, APM seems a little bit low, you know, so APM, for those you don't know, simply stands for actions per minute. It's a term from StarCraft, which usually denotes just how much a person is doing at one point in time. And you can see Blackjack seems to be struggling a little bit with looking around everywhere and actually doing all the things they should be doing. Uh, dodges the shatter, but the bubble is a little bit late. And unfortunately, I think the loss of the Reinhardt is just hard to come back from. Bubble can go down on Sneaky. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, tracking is okay. Remember, we remember this is a silver player. Um, but if you want to be in diamond, you probably need a bit, a bit of better tracking than that. Just go back, go back. Make sure we don't die. That's the uh, uh, most important yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm still coming back. Wait. What do we want? Could easily... Oh. Could easily have built 40 charge there, but seemed to not use bubble at all. Seemed to not use bubble at all there when they had ample opportunity to... Personal bubble to, uh, to build that ult charge. Now they've left their team in a bit of a pickle. Without the bubble, it's a bit... Um, it's going to be a bit difficult. There's a Genji in the back line as well. Okay. Tracer's, Tracer's on, on the left. Yeah. I'm playing with you, Tracer's pivoting to Mega. Yep. I'm going to grab up here in the corner. Yeah. Uh, we might want to back off a bit. My bear is dead. Okay. 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 He has shattered. I got the... Oh, shit. Ryan asleep. No, positioning not good, always out in the open, bubble management very poor, only ever built up to 60 ult charge in a game where everyone's spamming everything. Um, and then the grab was late as well. Uh, oh no, they're gonna get heavy spawn camped here. Oh, this is brutal. They do get healed, so there's a chance to recontest. This time they should get a decent amount of bubble charge, a kill as well. Sneaky gets fucked up. This is winnable, but this is such a mess. They need to bubble their Kree. This is not good, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I could. Do we have Go someone for touch? Nice, good touch. I mean, our widow is gonna die, yeah. <laughs> I got oh, grabbed. Oh, the grab on the Lucio. In in lower ranks, there's often a lot of positioning that you don't get punished for. And that can sometimes, that bad habit can stick or carry over, even if you're in a better game where people are punishing you. So, like, a lot of people hang around. Let's say you're here, right? A lot of people will hang around in this middle area. And the, the reason this is bad is that should should the, should something unexpected happen, you know, even if you have a bubble, you pop the bubble and it breaks very quickly, where are you going to go? You know, you, you're going to try and run here, it's going to take too long. Try and run here, it's going to take too long. You need to already be hugging this corner as you're fighting, or you need to be hugging this corner as you're fighting, or you need to be hugging this corner as you're fighting. Well, this one isn't great because they'll push from there. But you get the idea, right? They need to, you need to be hugging the corners so that should something go wrong, should something, you know, should something break, be that a bubble or a barrier, you're in a position to get in the cover. Yeah, there we go. Middle, 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 middle. Middle down. I got the diva with me. Okay, well that's a nice pick. Chasing the Sombra, which I'm not sure is necessary right now. I think the, the big threat is in the front. They don't notice their Reinhardt. Oh shit. Oh, that was lucky. Specs with a bad pin. This is very haphazard haphazard game here uh, not bubbling the Reinhardt again like the Reinhardt's just been ignored he's been hacked already and there was no bubble that came down it just feels like the game is moving a little bit too quickly for blackjack yeah there it is second time the mistake is yeah remember what I said shame on fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me twice uh blackjack makes the mistake second time they get punished May is on the right they're May's asleep right see? now we can't really capitalize on it though no no I no beat, what are they doing? They sleep the main, they still don't push. Like, when? Wh what are they waiting for? When are you going to push if you're not when you've slept the main? Like, they need to push past the choke together. If, if the main is here like this, you need to go together. Both tanks, 
so that you don't get isolated. But now they've missed their chance. I don't know what they're waiting for. Gonna look for He's looking for Shatter as well. Yeah. Four vault in. Yeah. There it is. Damn, flash. They have Again? another one. Oh. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So here I don't blame Blackjack because it's not their fault per se. I think the team is just engaging a little bit poorly. Like, of course you got another Blizzard. You waited like an eternity to push. But uh, Blackjack also isn't really shining. EMP is coming. Uh, I got hacked. I got hacked. Help your Rhino. charge. Diva low. Help, help your Rhino. Help your Rhino. I'm, That's I'm a great peel. Spending the Rhino. Is that? Nah. That's Rhino's a shadow. Yep. I got you. Thank you. Oh, I traded for them. Okay, we don't need we don't need Nana for this. Yeah. No, we're good. We're good. We're okay. Can we push this? Can we push this? Yeah, I'm, I'm up with you. Coming back. Your Walt. It's Take okay. In on the right, you have space. There we go. There we go. Uh oh. No, that was lucky. Yeah, Blackjack, I, I don't know if this is a consequence of Sneaky saying he would ask for the bubbles, but Blackjack is like constantly missing opportunities to bubble Sneaky when he needs to. And, and again, there's going on a lot of wrong targets or it's just going accidentally. I don't think Blackjack is... I think Blackjack is playing on too low a sense for their Zarya. They're not able to turn to the situation quickly enough. Or maybe it's just their own awareness. It's hard to tell, but yeah, this is... They look out of place. They look out of place. See, in, in a game like this, particularly Ryan Zarya versus Ryan Diva. You really want your Zarya to be an imposing figure. She should just be like 80 charge all the time and just pumping out damage. Unfortunately for Blackjack, because the, like every aspect of the of the tree is going wrong, they're not building uh, enough charge, so they're not scary, and then they're not using their bubbles to save their Reinhardt, so they're not making the difference in the Rhine v Rhine either. And again, just out of position, gets caught out, gets walled. They're quite frequently pushing past their Reinhardt and they're dying for it. So every... Every step along that path of being like a really scary imposing Zarya is going wrong. I can try. Alright, look for it. Yeah. Go for it, go for it. Your wall. There it is. The Ryan's yeah. anti. The Ryan's anti. The Ryan's anti. Focus the Ryan. He's asleep. Wait. Holy shit. Oh, the ping. I'm reloading. The ping is not He's anti. No, oh, I got it. Ah, uh, unlucky. There's a tracer on me. It's fine. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't hate the idea of trying to do, of, of trying to grab there, but again, I think in silver that doesn't get eaten, in diamond it's gonna get eaten when you just chuck it that, that deep and that obviously. It, poor engage as well. I mean, I think Blackjack should have saved a bubble for the Genji there. The Genji dashed up. The Genji got anteed, so if the, if you da if you bubble the Genji as he's dashing up, he doesn't get anteed. He maybe gets more done. They didn't nano the Genji either though, so the team is not helping Blackjack, but Blackjack definitely looks out of place here. Ryan is on his own here. Your wall. Wait, oh, uh, I got walled. And I got frozen, and I still live. Okay. Uh, what is the Ana doing there? Give her a bubble. Oh. Oh god. They're just they're just letting Grant farm blizzards, like nobody's business. Oh shit! It's 13 seconds. I didn't even realize that's how little time they have. Who's gonna touch? Hunter's gonna die. Anzi has to be the one. Might even have to beat herself. Anzi, can you be the hero? Anzi, did, did they realize? Oh no, Anzi! Oh. Okay, Blackjack, how did that feel? Whew. Um, yeah, that was wild. Um, one thing that I can definitely tell um, right off the bat is that people are a lot less uh, inclined to just charge Zarya bubbles for free. Mm -hmm. um, cause there were a lot of things that like I'm a lot better than I used to be at like making sure that I'm bubbling when someone's about to take damage versus just for the hell of it. But um, there were definitely some things that would have gotten a charge um, in some games that I've played, but the, there was a lot more care from the other team about avoiding them. And what they were talking about, about the ult tracking, making sure that I'm saving bubbles to be used for responding to specific things rather than just burst damage in general definitely wasn't uh quite so emphasized as it could have been in the way that i was mm -hmm. playing yeah so you felt like uh the things that you would do in silver weren't getting value here is that fair yeah or we're getting less value at least that mm -hmm. I, it, it needed more um precision so my feedback to you would be that i think yeah i think as your teammates are pointing out the bubble usage is quite poor you know to be like a scary high charge zarya that's beaming people down mm -hmm. first obviously you need good charge right you need to build charge and obviously you already mentioned that 
you struggled um, to build to build charge. I think it's because you were. Yeah, I I think really when it comes to Zarya bubbles, it's all about anticipating it. It's 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 a lot more straightforward, and I think people think about it sometimes. Really, in a, in a Ryan v Ryan matchup like that, it's pretty straightforward. You first bubble, you go really aggressive. You can even step in front of your Reinhardt. You you know they're gonna be spamming his shield. You step in front, mm -hmm. you pop personal bubble, you know forty charge. Then he's gonna yeah. go closer. He's gonna swing bubble. He swings twice, forty charge. Now you're up to eighty. Now you can be disciplined. Now you can be waiting for your Reinhardt to. Um, you know, be put in trouble as they had a May. You know, okay, when he, whenever he gets walled, I'm gonna bubble him. Whenever he gets anti, I'm gonna bubble him, right? So that becomes fairly straightforward. Um, but if you struggle in that first step, you will struggle at the later step, which is what you were like, right. like they were saying, you weren't able to bubble your Reinhardt at key times, probably because you were trying to constantly search for that charge with every bubble. Like every time you had a bubble, you were like, please let me get some charge. So you would throw it out, and then you would struggle to get that charge, and then that meant that. Neither did you have high energy, neither were you able to bail your Reinhardt out. So that yeah. that one fundamental really is really key to Zarya play. Being put in diamond was a little bit much for you, I think, if I can be honest. But I think that Yeah, I think you're probably right. I think maybe gold, we could have a shot. We could we could we could maybe be more imposing as a figure. We could probably be better. So I think taking a step by step, working from the ground up, you know, get those charge fundamentals down. Then we then we can be a really scary Zarya, and once you're a scary Zarya, you can just like take over games. If we get those fundamentals, I don't see a reason why you can't can't climb to gold and then you know plat and then and then we'll take another fair shot at, at diamond. But does that make sense? Yep, sounds reasonable to me. And that's all I got for today, guys. Hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you found it entertaining. I try to host fun events like this on my Twitch all the time, and in fact, I'll be doing another unlucky challenge the week after this video drops. If you want to catch stuff like this live then do give me a follow on Twitch too, and make sure you have notifications on for both here and there. If you want to participate in challenges like these, then make sure you're part of my Discord server, where I always ping people to sign up for such events. I want to shout out Rencia, who's been amazing in helping me edit content like this, and as always, I want to give a big shout out to my patrons and my Twitch subs, who do the awesome job of supporting me. If you'd like to see me keep making content that you enjoy, then do consider signing up, particularly on Patreon, where I can give you guys loyalty rewards in return. But that's it from me, I'll be back before you know it with an extra special video next time. See you guys soon.